Jefferson City High School has a new approach to preparing students for college. Specialized courses are introduced during their freshman year to get students thinking about possible career paths. KRCG 13's Ryan Rumbaugh takes us inside the classroom for a peek at Project Lead the Way. Students at Jefferson City High School are taking a hands-on approach to exploring possible careers. This is the first year incorporating Project Lead the Way curriculum. It's a national program that focuses on in-demand occupations and industries. Students in Principles of Engineering are putting their creative minds to work through hands-on projects. The goal? Work as a group to build a moving airboat that uses a hydrogen fuel cell as power. Students use foam, two-liter bottles, balsa wood, and other building materials for their designs. A few groups even carved out their boats using a 3D printer. Well, we researched like racing boats in real life and how they're kind of designed, and we see that really fast racing boats, they have just kind of similar design to how we created ours. So. The class tested their boats to see what groups ran the best. Senior Maggie Albert appreciates taking what she learns in the classroom and bringing it to life. We do all those problems and like you on the board and stuff, but it doesn't really have real life I don't know, used for it, and then like doing stuff like this, it shows you what your mass is actually doing. Engineering isn't the only route students can take through Project Lead the Way. Imagine walking into class on the first day of high school and finding a dead body. Freshmen in Principles of Biomedical Science found themselves in the middle of a crime scene. The goal throughout this entire class is to figure out what happened to Anna Garcia. The class applies what it learns each day to get one step closer to solving Anna's case. They discovered Anna was a diabetic, so they studied the effects of certain foods on someone with the chronic disease. By studying DNA and RNA, the class discovered that Anna suffered from sickle cell disease, which is genetic. I like how we get to interact a lot more in this class. We have a lot more labs, and we, we do a lot of stuff just overall in the medical field. Like in some science classes, it's a wide variety. This is narrowed down into what you like and what you want to do. Specialized Project Lead the Way courses have students looking towards the future and getting excited about college. I definitely want to go to college. That's like a must-have, like not just for my parents, but for me. Like that's a goal that I've set for myself. Even as freshmen, they already know um, I want to be a surgeon or I want to be a physical therapist or a nutritionist. A lot of them have an idea already what they want to do. I think some of them are learning that, okay, it's not just doctors and nurses. There's a whole array of medical field things that they can do. Through Project Lead the Way, students are paving the way for a bright future at a very young age. In Jefferson City, Ryan Rumbaugh, KRCG 13 News. Administrators are working to add more course options, including computer sciences. That's really great for them. It looks very interesting. Yeah, I'd like to do that. I wish they had that mm -hmm. one out of the high yeah, school. Yeah, really.